Whack. Nice! Got him! Okay! Yep. Whoa! Whoa! That was nasty. It's ketchup packets. Hey everybody, I'm Nate. I'm Sean. And this is Ketchup Packets. Today I'm very excited to say that we are starting Fallout. Fallout! Episode 1. Crawl called... out through the Fallout, Nate. That's oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I stepped on your line. That's all right. It's called The End. Yes. Which is ironically the beginning. That's right. Yes. Because every new beginning comes from some other beginning's <laughs> end. Right? <laughs> I even made that yes. up right now. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've definitely never heard that before. Yeah. Um, um, hi, any new viewers that are here? <laughs> <laughs> We're. Uh, yeah, we're gonna watch a TV show. Yep. Um, um, that we are very excited about. Yes. We both are Fallout fans. Mm-hmm. I, uh, it's one of those game series that I play like a hundred hours of and then never quite get to the end end oh, of yeah? the story because I'm always just going off and like discovering random stuff. Because there's and, so much to do, you yeah. know? There's such lived in worlds. Yeah. Uh, all of the, the 3D fallouts, I guess, yeah, are the ones right. that I've played. Except well, for 76. I haven't played the most recent no. 3D fallout. Oh, no, I haven't either, but that's a, it's like an MMO, um, which well, is not really my... I think it started that way and then they put a lot of like single player campaign stuff in there later, I believe. I don't know, but yeah. I haven't played it, so... Right, yeah. But yeah, but the other ones are awesome. Fallout 3, Fallout 4 for me. Mm -hmm. A little bit of New Vegas. I didn't really... New Vegas is really, really... I think in terms of like the... The writing for like the world structure you're inhabiting, New Vegas is the best one. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah, that's it, what I've heard. It's... It might not be best gameplay wise, but yeah, it's best writing wise, I think, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, but they're all they're all good. I I am a fan of all of them. I just love the I love the tone, which is what I'm hoping they're going to be able to capture. Yeah, here, it's, it's got know? that retro future thing going, yep. you know. And so like I think in their world, the transistor or the the capacitor or something like that was never invented. Like that's yeah. the difference from there. I, I don't know anything about computer science. Everything's nuclear. Right. Exactly. Yeah. They went on a different path at around the 1950s, and that's why their culture seems like retro to us, even though. The bombs are in 2077, I believe, right? Oh, okay. That's the year of the nuclear apocalypse. I never quite understood that whole... Oh, yeah? Yeah, that whole piece of it, because definitely, like, the aesthetic is very 50s. I mean, if you look at, like, the Red Rocket and stuff, it exactly, looks like a, yeah. like a 50s diner or, like, kind mm -hmm. of thing. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, 2077 it's, is the is their, you know, bomb day, I believe. Oh, okay. O October something. Uh, October 2077. And then the games all take place in the 2270s and 80s, mm -hmm. you know, like 200 yep. years hence from the box. Everyone's been in the vaults forever. and Exactly. And I believe our protagonist on this show comes from a vault. Yeah. The game play yep. protagonist would, usually I, does. I would hope that that would be the case. <laughs> yeah. It seems like the most, the, the smartest move there. And it's Jackie that. from Yellow Jackets. Yep. We know that. Mm -hmm. And we know Walton Goggins is on this show. And... Zach Cherry, who we know as Dylan from Severance, is on this show. Oh, yeah, okay. So, cool. that's Red. fun. Michael Emerson, who we know as Ben from Lost, mm -hmm. is on this show. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be exciting. I don't. I just kind of want to jump in, to yeah. be honest. Enough pre-talk, enough jabbing. Why don't we do it? Yes. Um, we have a Patreon. Check it out in the link below if you want. we got full-length reactions over there. They come out before the YouTube videos, so you could have already seen this video there that you're watching now if you're watching it on YouTube. Whoa. Yeah. I'm um, freaking out, man. Yeah. It's like time traveling into <laughs> That's the right. past. Yes. Um, and yeah, so check that out. Let's watch Fallout. Let's do it. Go. The end. Hit it. Oh. I was humming a tune. Look at that. That can't be easy to do. No. I imagine it takes great skill to learn how to use a lasso. It's pre-war. It's about to get nuked. Yep. This is a, a happy children's birthday party. Yep. That's going to get nuked. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Mr. Howard. Pleasure is all mine, ma'am. I hope your son had a lovely birthday. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Who's ready for cake? Uh, Cooper <laughs> Howard. It's a firsty firsty. <laughs> Everything about this set really does feel like a Fallout level yep. right off the bat. Totally. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Happy thoughts I'm not today. Sugar bomb. Sugar bomb. Then drop that 
Yeah, I mean, if the news guys are like being like, I can't do my job because I think this is imminent. I don't, it's I don't pretty know. scary. It's like, turn it on on a TV in, an, in another room and just keep an eye on it, you know? Send one adult to go watch that. Yeah. Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Oh, it's, uh, that's grown up stuff. I wonder what that's about. If they ever drop a really big bomb, I'm told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if it's bigger than your thumb? They told us not to bother on it. But us cow folks, we take it as it comes, right? We don't live under the specter of nuclear war anymore, but yeah. it's still possible yeah, at any time. Totally. What's the what's the the name of the the comic books you pick up in Fallout Four? This like the Gargon oh, the Bar Yeah, Grognak the yeah, Barbarian. Grognack, they showed that on the TV. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's uh, happening. Okay. All right, one piece of cake coming up from my favorite cowgirl. It's a lot bigger than your Is thumb. Is it your thumb or mine? Oh shit! And you just you're just waiting for the shockwave then. Yeah. So how does he survive? I mean, I know he's ghoulified, but yeah. they seem like they're pretty close. If downtown is right there, can you imagine? Yeah, it's just I would, I would kind of just rather be ignorant of what was happening behind me. I don't. Whoa! There's the blast yeah. wave. Man. Boom! Yeah, he says, don't bother running, but you yep. still run, you of know? Of course, yeah. If the advice is don't bother, that doesn't matter when it's really going down. Oh, oh another one! Another one. Oh, boy. Don't look at him. Not good for your mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah. Well, dude, I was wondering how long it would take us to get to bomb dropping and, uh... Oh, they're gonna jump right in. They don't have to teach you how to jump and move around and interact or anything like that like the exactly. video games. Yeah, 219 years later. Repair skills. I enjoy participating in the Young Piper Association. So this is past the games then. This is 2296, that means. I also participate in Gymnastics Club, Fencing Team C. So her special skills are... Exactly, pretty, yeah. She's creating good, her yeah. character. I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. At least... One I'm not related to, and we have rules about that for a reason. <laughs> it is that I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. Okay, so they send mm -hmm. people to another vault. That's Lucy, okay. Okay. Oh, wow, it's like a wedding. Okay. Yep, it's a wedding. She's just getting married, like, right away. I think it's probably just like, I'm, she's probably never met him before. It's how it's done, I guess. Mm -hmm. After ten years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. <laughs> oh, Lucy. <laughs> I am just excited for us to raise our kids together. Oh, is that an incest joke? I think yeah. so. I mean, they live in a vault. Yep. Yeah, so, this is outside, right? Or is it not in? No, outside? it's it's yeah, this it's is still the inside the vault. Yeah. It's inside for outside. Yeah. Got it. Gatekeeper. Exactly yeah. like the game. Mm -hmm. If we reschedule with the thirty twos until maintenance and I can Jet. What's going on? Oh, he's in love with her. Messing around with your cousin. It's all well and good for kids, but Oh god. Yeah. Oh jeez. Well, and this is thirty-two. Wait, but they're they have going thirty-three to... jumpsuits. Yeah, that's what I was confused about. I see. So they're going. They're connected. Oh, Interesting. Oh, it's a network. Yeah. Neighbors from Vault Thirty-two. Oh, because they don't have to go outside. Yeah. Lee Moldaver, overseer of Thirty-two. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegrams. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. But this trade... <laughs> I wonder what the advantage of segregating them is. I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. Monty? Monty. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, 
if I remember correctly, a lot of the vaults were like kind of social experiments that Vault Tech was doing. They all know? are, yeah. Yeah, so keeping them separated. Right, it's se like, separate populations for different experiments, right. but like from the inhabitants' point of view, right, why are like they separate? They'd be mingling a lot. To keep the candle of civilization lit while the rest of the world has been cast into darkness. Soon. Yeah, this place had become a really weird cult after yeah, a oh, while. Yeah, big time. Isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives is gonna happen right here. Is this guy, like, insane or something like that? Yeah, he hasn't he seems, said much. He seems insidious a little bit, we but could just be nervous. No, he's got... Yeah. There's something bad in his eyes. Whoa! Okie dokie. <laughs> Alright, well. I saw that exact same shot in the first episode of a different Amazon show, The Boys. And it oh, yeah. wasn't received the same Yeah, way. no, it wasn't. It's got scars. He sure does. Yeah. It's this guy's deal. Oh, the crops are all dead. Is that supposed yeah. to be like that? Yeah, that doesn't look good. Were they alive before? We saw living crops, didn't we? Thought so. Is that that same space? Is that... I didn't have time to wither that yeah. badly. Yeah, the flickering lights, something is wrong yeah. with the vault. Rad roach infestation? I think the Vault 32 people did something. Whoa! Is this this is Vault 32. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It seems like so they're gonna take over 33. Yeah. That's they're bad. Not so good, they're not good people over there. Oh, I, there was noise. Yeah, he hasn't seen running water in a while. Okay, so I see. So he like I was seeing 32's crop room, which is yep, dead. Yep. Is radioactive? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, they're not vault dwellers! Oh, Jesus. Raiders. Oh! Okay, oh, what's happening now? Oh, jeez. Well, she's gonna kill him. Just so you know, this was the best day of my life. I mean, you got to get married. Yeah. Don't don't murder your wife. Oh, classic. That move will work. Oh. Yeah, you've got it now. Yep. Actually, pushing it into the other person is the is the tricky part. I would think. I feel like I would be able to handle it at this point. Yeah. But the strength disparity too. Yep. She's he's so much stronger than her. Oh no! Whack. Nice! Got him! Okay! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! That was nasty. Is that Ooh. guy dead? Oh yeah. I think so. We want to make sure. I mean, he might be dying. We want to make sure he can't get up and still hurt you. Stim pack! Yep. Just stick it in there? Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah, I guess in the game Just I don't injuries, think yeah, about not? that. Yeah. I'm having to stick myself with it. There'll be survivors here who then need to send her out into the world. Laura, was that her name? I don't know. They need to send her out into the world to get you know, help for the out right. the fallout of this event. Ah, or maybe fallout. they'll all get out like separately and oh, find God. each other later. Oh, oh shit. That's unnecessary! <laughs> Jesus. I mean, all of this yeah, is unnecessary. Yeah, this is all gratuitous, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Sir, please don't make me use force. It's Jet. Oh, it? Yeah, Jet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Whoa, there we go. crunch! Well, there you cool. go. Pacifist guy still gets a kill. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, the burning film reel looks like a nuke yeah. on the screen. It's like they, this is like their holocaust right here. Their their nuclear Armageddon. Their entire, yeah, their entire world is getting just destroyed completely. Yeah. This show That's starts with one apocalypse and then another apocalypse. Mm -hmm. What? I told you he oh, wasn't he dead. dead. She just ripped his face off. I knew it. There you go. Finish him. Take that, now son the in law. Sharp end of the shovel in down on his face. In his throat. Yeah. Brain stem. <laughs> How is he getting up again? He's a raider. Yeah, the scars on his back should have been the giveaway. Like, why does he have those X yeah, scars on his back? Weird, yeah. Oh, they have hostages now. And a bomb. Wonderful. What, what's the point of the bomb, though? They're violent they're, psychopaths. Yeah, they just are evil, aren't they? I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. I don't. Is she in exile? But do they know who they are? Like she used to live in these yeah. vaults and got sent away. So I'm gonna offer you a choice. Them or her. It's a shitty choice. Yeah, that's very evil. She's mad about something. I think, think she's in exile. Right, yeah. yeah. Especially because he said, "I know who you are." Mm-hmm. The... You look like your mother. Yeah, oh. she came from here. Where are you taking him? To the real world. You should see it sometime. Oh, so she has to go out there and find him. That's yep. her vault dwelling mission. Mm -hmm. Find dad. Get down from the window. Yeah, for real. Do not watch the explosion. Cool guys don't look at explosions. All the vault doors are blast doors, basically. Yeah, pretty I guess sure. So. so. Whoa. Okay. Fight Club. Is that Johnny Pemberton? What is he doing on this show? That guy's a comedian. That's weird. Oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you think, Brotherhood of Steel or something? Yeah, this is the, yeah. those bunkers. This is Brotherhood mm -hmm. of Steel. I was about to say that, and then I got thrown by Johnny Pemberton. Yeah. Maximus. Max Maximus. <laughs> oh shit! Nice. That's really cool. Big smile mm -hmm. from me. I think Maximus is going to get to put one of those I, on. I have a feeling, yeah. I'm liking that we're here already. I like that this means sort of we're getting more of an overview perspective right. as an audience. I thought we'd kind of stay with the, the person from the vault and discover the world as she does. Yeah. But it's cool to see that we're going to be more jumping around to different settings. Oh, what did he see them do when he was a kid? Yeah. God, it would suck to be on the on the social out in a situation like this. Yes, it would. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. And get this, we're going to the wild. It's probably not going to be as fun yeah. as you think it I is. I think they're going to get slaughtered and yeah. his... Uh, being left behind is going to be his saving grace. Mm -hmm. so maybe try to touch that as little as possible. What the hell? It broke, so he probably has to put a new seat on there. How did it break? Just bad luck. Just yeah. the world is against him. That definitely, if you're like already in a bad headspace and bad things are happening, and then something random and shitty happens to you for no reason, you're just like, ah! yeah. 
Oh. Ah! What, what the, the hell? Fuck? Oh. It's got radiation poisoning of some kind. Oh my god, yeah. a radioactive boot? Oh no, a razor in her boot! What the hell? Whoa. Who would have done that? I don't get it. I don't know. What? What? That was abrupt. Yeah. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. I mean... Our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. Well said, Betty. Yes. I mean, I understand that impulse yep. after what Absolutely. just happened. They don't want to find Dad. I think the Raiders got in 32 in the first place, charge. you know. Yeah. They probably just opened the stupid door. Here you thought you were getting married to a nice, quiet guy, you know. Turns out to yeah. be a monster. And so, it is the is the Vault Boys thumbs up thing about the cover the mushroom cloud with your thumb? Like that? I'm not sure. Vault Tech was a prominent company in like yeah. a lot of different aspects, like pre-war, and I think that that's just their like their mascot, you know? Right, but at least for the show, they're mm -hmm. sort of implying that that's the the meaning behind that gesture, yeah. you know? Hey, Davey. How's your day going? Bad as everyone else's. Yeah, what yeah, kind of too. question is that? He's uh, being he's, sketchy because yeah. he's doing something. Oh, they're sneaking her out anyway, even though everyone else said they can't? Yeah. Oh, looks like she, three of them are gone. I think the other two are going to facilitate opening the door for yeah, her. Yeah, maybe. Her cousin and her brother. She's got what for weaponry? I think that she's expecting to find not much of anything out there. I see. Right, yeah. you know? I mean, they know the raiders they, came from the radiation somewhere. radiation is too high for any civilization to live. But then how, where did the raiders come from? Exactly. You know? It's almost like the fact that she knew they were raiders it feels like telling the audience that that's what's going on versus their assumption might actually be like the people in this vault went insane for some reason. Yeah, you know? I don't know. Okay, well, it's open now, so just, you can't do anything. Young lady, come back here right away. They're scared to get close. Yeah. It'll pull you out. There she goes. Yeah, Skull. where do you start looking? Yeah. That's a nice first impression. Yeah, where'd all the human remains come from? People trying to get inside. Yeah, oh, probably. Maybe when the bombs were going off. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. Don't dwell it. Let's just yeah, keep, let's, keep walking. Yeah, yeah, keep moving. So we're in California, right? I'm not certain. I think Vault 33 probably with a mm -hmm. number that low. Yeah. Vault Tech is based in California. Mm -hmm. uh, is this? That's Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, that's right. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'd be freaking out. Yeah. Right Why isn't she looking at the sky more? You'd be staring at the yeah. sky, wouldn't you? She's never yeah, seen I feel the like sky. That would be debilitatingly. <laughs> just be like, it's so high up there. Yeah. Why did you join the Brotherhood? Because you gave me to food. To the people who hurt me. He hid in a fridge. That's a side quest. In one of the games, yeah, kid in a fridge. Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember. Your fellow Aspern say it was you. Of course they did. I, 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 I wouldn't. Why not? Your friend was promoted. You were not. You have ambitions. Oh. Uh -huh. 
So they think that he like doesn't want her to go or that he's jealous. Mm. Speak. I I Cut. didn't I didn't do it. I did not. I Come on, you can reason better than that, man. You're the only person that's nice to me in this whole fucking place. Violence against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. You think he did it? Mm, no. They would have shown us. Weak? I don't want to be. Yeah, I think he uh, it doesn't fit into the culture. Yes, it seems. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, Eden, or whatever, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. And I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. That's the right thing to say. Yeah. Just say the cult propaganda. Mm hmm. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. Hey, all right, now you get promoted. They said I'll still have a place at the Brotherhood. I heard you got my spot. Did he do it? That'd be an interesting character trait for him to have yeah. being like well, a... narrowed it down to any one of those assholes <laughs> they asked if it was you i told him you wouldn't hurt a fly <laughs> okay oh, well that's also maybe not the right tone to set that doesn't really help me for right. you to tell them that <laughs> but i didn't do it oh he made mm, what's that look did he yeah do dude I think he did. You gonna brand him? Yeah. Big time. Oh boy. Branding is uh it's a horrible hardcore. Thing. Oh jeez. You can't react? Nope. Uh, that's feels like it's impossible to not scream. That's a clean brand, man. Yeah, nicely done. He didn't squirm. Nope. Better than Bam Margera. Yeah. <laughs> it is believed that the denizen of the Enclave has escaped. The Enclave's real. And that he has with him the Enclave. Mm -hmm. And may the shape of the future be cut by your sword. All right. Okay. We're a bunch of crazy guys. <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting... So that, yeah, they don't have, like, a fax machine or whatever, so they gotta send, like, code, and then you fill in the... Is that dog meat? Yeah, it looks like it's dog meat, and the target is Michael Emerson. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Contain your grin. <sighs> I would have a hard time not thinking that for sure I was going to be dead within 24 hours, though. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's like the, the, the junk, junk, junk cannon, junk, yeah. Yeah, junk launcher or whatever. Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year, cuts some pieces off and puts him right back in the ground. Oh, what the fuck? this is going to be Walton Goggins. Like they keep him alive, oh, buried yeah. down there. Shit. How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought our little friend. Or a chicken? A feral goon can't abide a chicken. <laughs> he goes for him, we kill him. I didn't know that. Wonder if that's canon. I don't know anything about that. Cool. So does he not need oxygen? I think he. They thought about that. 
Uh, must be some sort of a setup. Yeah. yeah. If he had that drip feed mm -hmm. too. I'm Hancho. Now you don't even know us. No. I do not. <laughs> oh. Don't eat the chicken, they'll kill you. It's not exactly the demeanor of a feral ghoul, if I remember correctly. No. They're uh, a little bit more um I shoot them feral. They're just zombies. Yeah. yeah. Now somebody may have run from the enclave. Oh, they're looking for Michael Emerson, mm -hmm. too. Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. But for me, well, I do this shit for the love of the game. Yeah, his lasso yeah. skills! <laughs> oh. Hey. Damn. Got all junked up. Well. Damn. All right. You don't have to do that last score anymore now. <laughs> He's just the ghoul. Yeah. All right. I already forgot what his original name was. Mm -hmm. so. It was Cooper. First, first, yeah. Us cowpokes. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, nice. Ouch. We take it as it comes. And just push all those rocks back on him. There's a big pile of rocks. I wonder if that guy's going to be coming back. Almost certainly. The chicken will get its revenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, directed by Jonathan Nolan. I didn't realize that. Westworld. He made Westworld. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there we go. Red. The right. end. First episode of Fallout. Mm -hmm. Off to a good start. I in think so. My yeah. Opinion. I'm trying to decide if I prefer to, like, have, like you were saying, that they are sort of introducing the different, like, elements, and then they're probably all going to kind of converge at some points and mm -hmm. stuff, you know? Right. I'm kind of wondering whether I would have preferred if they kind of just stuck with the, like, the main character yeah. for the entire episode and, and trickled in these other elements yeah. as we went. So if they were to do that, then they'd have to have her meet these meet Maximus and the ghoul and then they'd have to show us these scenes at a later point to flash back those right. characters and and flesh them out. So it's yeah, just a true. question of structuring and mm -hmm. they chose it to do it this way. But I feel like ultimately it's telling us the same story. And it was I like having yeah. the sort of overview perspective and that gives them the freedom to jump to new places whenever they feel like it would be good to do so without yeah. having to find a way to get our characters to go there first. You I'm know? sure this is a question that was asked like in the writer's room about Definitely. like how are we going to structure this because like I'm so used to seeing the Fallout world trickled to me as the character. Right, well you're, you know? you're locked in the perspective of an agent in the world. Right, and, yeah. So probably when you're developing this for TV, you think, what are limitations that we are free of by doing this as yep, a TV show exactly. instead of a video game? And one is you can have the omniscient perspective. Yeah. So that's that's cool. And it seems clear right away that, I mean, Maximus has that target picture of Michael Emerson. Mm -hmm. And then also that was those jo the job that those guys were waking up the ghoul to go do. Mm -hmm. So they're both going to go find him. She's probably going to run into Michael Emerson and he will like be teaching her about the wasteland and stuff. And then by yeah. the time those guys show up to try and capture him, Lucy is there and involved yeah. for that reason. Yep. I think I think it's probably gonna happen soon. Like in mid the next episode. And then maybe all of them are sort of our gang going forward oh, to do whatever. Without a doubt. Yeah. But yeah, the the plot of this is totally open ended. Yeah. I don't know like it's not as though it's a story that's about telling you a particular narrative so you know like which beats they're gonna hit mm -hmm. and what the ultimate conclusion will be. It's just about the world and they very potently given us the world already in this episode so yeah it's it feels like when you start playing one of the games where it's just wide open in front yeah, of you and you're like yep. what am i about to see yeah, and encounter this headed, in this yeah. world of this nature it's very you know comparing it to the last of us mm -hmm. you know which is a very s straightforward narrative driven right versus the this where it's like yeah you could go you could every episode could be like a stumbling upon some totally random Thing, mm -hmm. you know? And they can do stuff, you know, I'm sure they'll put stuff in that is evocative of specific things that you see in the games, but they also have the freedom to create new things to dump into the Fallout world yep. they want to. I know that an existing property like this will have fans that'll definitely bristle if you put too many things that they're not familiar with, but if you do it right, 
it can be really good. Has there been a game that takes place in LA? The Grand Theft Auto Five. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the, the Fallout, Fallout game. Oh, um, <laughs> of the, course there are games that. The place. first two games are in Southern California, I believe, mm -hmm. because I know that the New California Republic is part of those, right, yeah. and the Enclave is Southern California, and then obviously New Vegas takes place in Vegas yeah. and like you know, so the Southwest yeah, yeah. that area. But no game in this exact location, I don't believe. I'm curious about as we were watching it, I was thinking about the way that like. This is all such a familiar world to you and me. Like, mm -hmm. we're dropped into this being like, okay, we know this setting, and here's a story about these characters. But I was curious what it would be like for an audience that is just going into this cold as a TV show. Yeah. Is this super alienating and hard to hold on to? Because they're like, wait, what are these settings? I mean, right. we see the Brotherhood, and right away we know what we're looking at. We see a vault, and we know, like, what is this building, you know, but like if somebody who hadn't seen it before, right. like, what are they, where are yeah, they? Yeah, what is happening here exactly? Or like, just little thing, I, I thought about that exact thing when they launched a baby arm mm -hmm. at that guy and killed him with it. And if you're, if you're not familiar with the, with the junk, the junk launcher, yeah. I, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, kind of, I yeah, can't remember the exact name. It's like, it's like as a game element, that's really fun and quirky and mm -hmm. it's like this whole, the whole tone, it kind of fits in with the tone of the games, right? Right. But if you're watching it, you're like, and you've never been exposed to any of this before. That's a pretty long way to walk. Yeah. To be like, wait, they have a thing that shoots baby arms. <laughs> well, and yeah, and later happening? when it like he shot at a bunch of that guy, and there was a screwdriver with some other stuff. Maybe have that be the first thing that's in the guy, right. and then the baby arm later on. Because yeah, I definitely thought it was a real human limb at first. Right. And that yeah. Was, yeah. I mean, we're it dealing was with surprising. Yeah, we're dealing with like radiation, and you know, it's a lot of mutation stuff happens. Could have been a regular right. baby arm exactly. growing out of the guys, you know. <laughs> and I think that that. You know, that weapon was included there as a fun little nod to the fan. It's not going to show not up gonna in the show, show again. Yeah. yeah, that guy had it. He's dead. It's not going to, you know, mm -hmm. like that was just for us to laugh at. They know that a lot of their audience will have played the game, but I do wonder if that can prevent just the TV show audience from being able to get into this show as much. If it's, you know, it, I was thinking about like, what if you tried to just sit down and watch Andor without any familiarity with Star yeah. Wars? Would it be yeah. super just like what do you i can't hold on to this you yeah know? and so it's, yeah i was wondering you know it's just the comparison seemed apt there you well know? i mean not to not to go like you know way off on a tangent here but and or at least it's set up like a very clear these are the bad like the, evil these are guys. fascists yeah. and these are people living their lives right yeah yeah it's like there's a resistance and then there's the fascists which is star wars immediately did a good job of doing like yeah. right off the bat like, and know, that's like, the yeah. essence of star right. wars is resistance versus fascists but this it's like the fallout universe just has so many intertwined little like sub narratives happening and like you know different like relationships between all the factions that like are supposed to be that are fun inter interactive like points where the story can change in the games mm -hmm. but like in this yeah going in blind might be a little confusing. <laughs> if we have any people in the audience who are like watching this without familiarity with the games, we'd love to hear in the yes, comments please. how this the show has been striking you as someone who's just trying to jump in fresh because that's not a perspective either of us has. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'd like to hear that. Yeah. That do it for this first one then? I think so. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching with us, everybody. I'm Nate. I'm Sean. And this is Ketchup Packets. See you next time.